Okay. We're coming live from UT in Edinburgh. Uh, this is GoGM webinar. It's the first time we've tried uh, to come live from a conference. Um, and so we'll see how it goes. But I've got in the room with me, I'll introduce themselves. Then. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Debbie Bath. Um, and I am uh, new to this role that I've got at the moment. I'm a, a membership manager. I started yesterday, so this is my <laughs> new boss and, and my kind of other boss, with weird kind of setup. Um, and uh, I'm a part time PhD student at Lancaster University, so I'm in uh, my third year. And I've been a member of GoGM for a few years now, I think. So, yeah, happy to be here. I'm busy today. Yay! <laughs> so let's join Melissa's round. I'm going to make you a present, uh, Melissa, which means you can uh, have audio and video if you want to. Uh, Mara, Hello, and um, welcome to all of those who are joining us live um, here at OC or also watching this recording. Um, I work with Debbie, and um, yeah, we've been busy organizing the conference for everyone here in Edinburgh in the UK. And my day job is that I run out, I'm the chief executive, and um, Martin Weller is, so to speak, my boss as he's the president of ALT. And um, I actually was still a PhD student when I started working for ALT in 2008. So it's not been a very long time, so I can still remember that very well. And if you don't know me, I'm Martin Weller. I'm the uh, director of um, GoGN and also the president of ALT. So uh, hi, Kathy, I'm going to make you a presenter as well, means you can have mic, mic powers and video powers if you want them. Uh, so perhaps uh, those who are online, do you want to introduce yourself? So start with Marion. Yes, I, I'm um, Marion. Um, I'm from the Netherlands. I go to end member since two years, I guess. Um, I'm a part-time PhD student and I'm about halfway. So I have uh, two and a half years still going uh, strong. Um, and well, I'm very curious about what's happening at the at the conference where you are, because I'm, I've never been there. Um, and well, I, I'm what I said, I'm a part time PhD student, so I, I have three days a week for my PhD, and I have two days a week that I work as an ed tech advisor. Um, Melissa, do you want to say hi? You have mic powers. If you go down the bottom of the screen, there should be a little microphone icon, which you click on it if it goes. Through. It's, uh, it looks like she put something in the chat. Okay. That's for, hi, Melissa from Vancouver. Hi, Melissa. Greetings to Canada. <laughs> We're big fans of Vancouver. Aren't Definitely, we? Big, yeah. Big fans of Vancouver. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, despite the time difference. So, do you work with Rajiv, Melissa? Good, okay. We'll say hi to Rajiv for us when you see him. Uh, do you want to say hello? If you might yeah. have in the text. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, yeah, all right. Great. I okay, I've got my video muted because the signal is a little sketchy, but I'm Kathy S. Miller. I'm the OER librarian at Oklahoma State University and a PhD candidate. Uh, in the throes of my dissertation. And I heard about this group from Jennifer England, uh, who just said that ah. it was a, yeah, awesome group of people and uh, loved <clears throat> what she said about your approach to open educational resources and wanted to kind of come be a part of things. Cool, yes, I think you're our newest member, so welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah, we got on very well with uh, it was great. She was in Galway. She was. Je Jennifer and I bonded over our mutual love of chocolate. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, she's wonderful. She's great. <laughs> so perhaps some, I'll start just by asking uh, my colleagues kind of what they think of the conference so far, and then I'll open up to you to ask some questions. So, Deb, both in both your, your Go Gen role and your new Alt role, how have you found it so far? What, what's been of interest to you? Um, yeah, it's... Uh, it's been a very busy conference. Um, I mean, it's it's a new one for me because, as I said, this has started started a new job yesterday. So um, I've been busy, kind of helping behind the scenes and, and running around, but also getting to meet a few people. Um, I know 
quite a lot of people at Alt anyway. Um, and I also do uh, work with the Open Education Special Interest Group. Um, so some of those colleagues are here as well today. But unfortunately, I missed the session. We had a session together to kind of catch up. Um, but I think some of that is going to be made available via our Open Education SIG site, which you can get through on Alt. Um, so that was quite useful. The keynotes have just been out of this world. Oh, I, I, if you haven't had a chance to watch them, they've all been recorded, and you can get those through the Alt site. So we had two in them yesterday, and then we had Jesse from the small thing, and they they both kind of I thought they resonated with each other. Yeah, they both of them. Very nicely, yeah, yeah, and I re I really enjoyed them. So um, kind of critical digital pedagogy type stuff, and um, Sue's um, Sue's presentation I think really set the tone for alt yesterday. Um, so interesting to see whether or not you've you've managed to catch any, any of the conference because we they've done a lot of work to kind of get the online presence. So I just wondered if any of you managed to catch any keynotes or seen any of the tweets or anything. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we're, we're all looking at the chat. I will um, stop the video, but I will still be online because sometimes it's a bit. Um, yeah, the, the video slows it down a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah I uh, haven't. Yeah, so go the, ahead. Uh, I see the the website, so I saw in Mario. that some of the presentations are being video recorded, which is really nice. Um, I was wondering, like, what are the the key themes at the moment that you've noticed that is like the trends that's going to be around. Do you want to go on? Yeah. Um, so our we have a couple of themes that we invite papers on, and we actually have an increasing number of research students, um, including PhD students, who give presentations. So I think I'm just going to draw out two things that have really stayed with me. One in relation to open education is that I've seen a number of sessions where we're talking about whether open source tools and open educational practice can help us address some of the sort of ethical questions and the data ownership um, around using technology in education. So, for example, Jesse Stommel in his keynote talked about some examples of commercially developed ed tech and what questions that brings for ownership of, let's say, student data um, with different tools or um, even just sort of what constitutes informed consent. And Sue Beckingham, as um, Debbie mentioned, she was also speaking a lot about um, the sort of need to acknowledge um, the, the students' rights. And so I felt that this has been a theme that's starting to really come out for me from this conference. Um, the other theme for me is around it's quite difficult to capture, but I think it's around inclusivity of the voices that we include in our conversation. And one of the things Sue said on the first morning in the opening keynote was, um, he said, you know, it's about how we talk about the work that we do, what it is that we say and what we don't say. And I thought that was really relative, uh, relevant to me. Um, as part of the organizing committee, we really try and um, include diverse voices in every sense of the word. And we use a lot of open practice. Um, it's one of the things that ALP has as the core value openness to try and bring that more together. So I feel the conference is probably more, um, not confrontational, but I think there is more different points of view now than maybe I feel personally I experienced maybe five years ago. And that is a really interesting theme that's coming out for me. Yeah, I think I would. So I remember um, coming to Alt many years ago before before Marin ten, <laughs> and a lot of the keynotes then were a bit kind of wow, isn't technology great? You know, it was all like as well and stuff. And now it's much more about being critical. I think that's reflective of both just the way education technology has moved in general, but also it, it I think reflects well on um, all the, the the type of keynotes we invite to, to challenge people. I think you know, and I thought Jesse this morning was very very good about 
you know, sort of challenge us to think about our relationship with things like VLEs and LMSs and turn it in. But also, he was quite. He didn't just go for the you know the VLE is evil mm -hmm. kind of approach. He was quite fair, to them, you know, and, and the, the, the lot of people who work with those and in those companies, but also the people who have to implement them in organisations are good people who are trying to do good things. Like so, I think having that sort of balanced mm -hmm. approach was was, uh, was appreciated. Um, so, uh, are there any other? Oh, I see someone else joined. Hi, Ada. I'm going to make you a presenter, Ada, which means you can use your microphone if you want. Cool. So, has anyone got any uh, questions they want to put to us about aspects of Alt or Alt C in particular? Yeah, so just say the website is altc.ac.uk. If you go there, you, you can watch uh, videos of the keynotes and anything that's in that main hall. And do you want to do any promotion while you're here? <laughs> yeah. No, I think if you are new, um, I would suggest you, you follow Debbie's advice. And if you haven't discovered much about the conference, I would say um, social media and the hashtag old C, all lowercase, all one word, is probably the best way in. We tweet out links to our sessions. And once you find one session, you get to go to the platform and hopefully discover a lot more. Um, so, yeah, hopefully that will give you an in. And you also get a, a very direct flavor, <laughs> an unedited flavor of what the conference feels like to people. Um, there's lots of photographs as well um, of sessions and slides, and presenters are uploading content onto their pages in the program. So I would strongly recommend if you have a little bit of time um, to go and dive in and have a little bit of a look via the hashtag. Yeah, I think you're all from... Uh, outside the UK, aren't you? So you may not know what Alt C is. So um, I guess what would be the nearest equivalent in the in North America? So it's probably a bit like uh, Ed Media or uh, Online Educa in um, Berlin. So it's the kind of the UK's main um, learning technology conference. Do you want to play any more about Alt C in particular? Um, I suppose we work with organisations in the US. It might be um, organisations like the Online Learning Consortium or um, Edubos and in Canada, um, particularly in British Columbia, the equivalent would maybe be ETAC. Um, so it's a, a, a volunteer um, led effort, a membership organization. But um, I think we have a question coming oh, through in the chat you. about commercial sponsorship. So, yes, good point. Um, there is so ALT as an organization is independently funded as a charity and we don't have any commercial sponsorship. So we make our income through individual subscriptions and also this one paid event, um, or we have two conferences, the OER conference and this one, all of our other events are free. Um, so we are an independent body. Um, we do have commercial sponsors for the conference. However, um, they don't sponsor talks. So if you are a sponsor and you want to talk at our event, then you need to submit a paper and it's blind peer review just as every other paper. Um, and we invite our keynotes independently from our sponsorship. So we don't sell sponsorship slots and we don't sell any other session content. Um, and I think that's really important. So the conference sponsorship is quite a small um, part of our overall um, income from the conference and also all of our sponsors are members of ALT who are active in our community all year round. It was interesting when Jesse was talking about commercial companies like Turnitin and Blackboard who aren't sponsors of the conference whether that causes any tension or not I don't know but, but it's certainly well, I, it's I think that's that a good would. example because yeah. you know we don't give any limitations to any of our keynotes of what they can or can't say mm -hmm. and that's I think the the proof of the independence that we have yeah, retained, and because our sponsors don't have um, a you know a hand in the academic program. Mm -hmm. So, so Kathy asks, uh, is the conference more practice uh, oriented or research oriented? That actually, it's a really good point, yeah. Kathy, because um, alt is pretty much 50 50 I don't know. If it, mm -hmm. I'd say so. Yeah, so um, it's about fifty half the people every year is their first time to alt. Is that right? I think more like a quarter. Of course, okay. So, so yeah. every year we have people come who haven't been to alt before, and I think that's kind of quite reflective of education technology and learning technologies that lots of people come into it from elsewhere, if you like. So they, uh, they might be a lecturer in textiles or something, and they're interested in a particular application technology and then want to talk about that. And then there are the kind of 
seasoned old hands, just myself, <laughs> it's been a long time. So you do get that kind of mix. And that makes quite an interesting dynamic in a conference, I think, that mix of practitioners and researchers and experts in the field and people who sort of, you know, come into it from elsewhere. Um, I suppose, you know, we have sessions that are more theoretical or historically based. So Laura Chernovich from um, University of Cape Town, she was giving um, a talk at this conference, which is about unbundling higher education provision and this is a, you know a large international project it's very much disseminating new research so this would be more like a presentation and then there is other sessions which is like a lego workshop you know we get to grips with things on tables and um or you know sometimes there are student-led workshops there was walk workshops um and there's also very detailed technical sessions about we bought we built this new algorithm to grade student papers and here is exactly how it works so you can really go from extremely geeky to really theoretical in the space of one afternoon. Um, and we, we link into the, the journal as well. That's so, right. Yeah. We, which is you know, really useful as a PhD student to, to have a look to see. Um, it's, it's all open. It's open access, yeah. Can. It's called Research in Learning Technology. And we always get um, people from the conference who present research to submit papers to the journal. So if you want to read, um, open access research from the UK and other places. Um, mm -hmm. We recommend that. <laughs> so, um, Ada, do you want to say who you are? So I didn't give you a chance to say hello and where you're based and what you're doing. So if you you should have a microphone. If not, you can use the chat. Can you see the microphone icon down the bottom, Ada? <laughs> if you can come in and say hi. Or if you have a question to ask. It doesn't show you on here whether they've got their microphone or not, does it? I've never used this webinar platform. So this before. is click meeting. Ah, ah, interesting. Um so I'll just well, we'll feel free to come in any time, Ada, if you can hear it. So Marion asks Marion asks, um nice about it. What is the distribution of HE versus vocational versus primary second education? <laughs> I can feel them. Um, yeah. so, <laughs> great question. Yeah, it's a great question. Um, so, as a membership body, um, the organisation that um, we we are covers all types of education. So we we everyone is welcome to work with us or to collaborate. Um, this particular event. That because when it is, it's like just before the higher education term um, starts here in the UK. And um, so the conference is predominantly higher education and some vocational education, probably about 75, 25 is the split. But um, we do have a couple of um, individuals from, you know, work-based learning, from schools, um, and actually tomorrow's keynote, Oli Bray, um, he works at the Lego Foundation, and his experience is very much based in early years education. Um, and also this year, for the first time, our three co-chairs, so we have um, Louise Jones, who used to work for Google and who is now independent, Melissa Hyten, who is um, Director of Information Services here at the University of Edinburgh, and also Keith Smith from the University of Highlands and Islands. And for those of you who maybe not have heard of that institution, it's a very special distributed university, which also does um, vocational education. So we actually have co-chairs who come from schools, further education or vocational education and higher education. And the three of them have worked very hard to include a very strong, diverse range of voices in this conference. So I would say HE is definitely leading way in the conference program, but there are other sectors represented as well. And a good thing we've had this year is um, we have a number of fellowships who allow other people to come, so people might not be able to afford to come normally. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's yeah. right. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Twelve fellowships. Yeah. Yes. That's, um, yes okay. So uh, the other thing I was going to say was um, also this. So. ALT is the overall association and ALT-C is the main conference, but they also host the OER conference, which some of you may have been to. So, And the next OER conference is in 
London. London, yeah. And we also uh, hosted, at least I'm assuming we still hosted, a winter online conference That's right. as well, yeah. which might be helpful for you. Yeah. Um, that December. That's right. That's in December. It's free to attend and everyone is welcome. Um, so there is um, there's definitely the option. And the Open Education Special Interest Group, mm -hmm. Debbie Menon, is also open all and everybody is welcome. Yeah. And always has a kind of campfire gathering online yes. in December <laughs> where we literally come with marshmallows in our own house normally and we meet online. And um, yeah, <laughs> so you can get to know everyone a little bit better. So, Kathy asks, are you affiliated to the ICD conference? Uh, no. 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 Uh, I, I'm an ICD chair, so I'm kind of affiliated <laughs> with that too. But um, no, that's separate. But we are um, we are friendly neighbours, so we yeah. you know cross promote each other's conferences. Yeah. And um, but our specific focus is on you know the learning technology professional practice. So it's very much about the professional practice rather than the technology. So our focus is people, mm -hmm. right? And Jesse mentioned this today, and he said you know. We need to invest in people, and um, that's very much what our focus is, rather than the actual tools we're interested in as well. Yeah. But the professional side, um, professional practice, professional recognition, professional development is really what we're interested in most, which is why I think open education practice is such a key part of what we do. I should be making notes now, because that's all part of my job. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone have um, any other questions for our guests or about the conference in general? Um, I just, well, if you're thinking of questions, um, the session we ran for the first time last year, was it? We ran a session called Gasta, which are kind of like five minute <laughs> quick presentations. And we have this chap called Tom Farrelly, who uh, comes over from Ireland to run it, and he's kind of a big, he's kind of a big showman online. And they, they run, and, you, and it was after seeing that last year that Clint Ond, uh, took that back to ETAG and ran that ran a gaster session in uh, Vancouver last year. Yeah, no, no, Cambridge, wasn't it? Yeah, Cambridge yeah, this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah at the um, ETAG conference. And running more of those this year. And they're always big, uh, they're good fun, those sessions. Oh, and you can see them all online yes, there, all on online, YouTube. Yeah. Um, gaster is an Irish term, um, Gaelic term for kind of fast, clever, witty. And so um, it is a very short, punchy talk yeah and now uh, we're trying to, to get martin to give a gorilla gas later <laughs> which is a, a new concept yeah. <laughs> but it's very much like a lightning talk but it has audience participation yeah. and so as the audience you're required to count down um tom yeah, teaches right. you in gaelic and so you count from one to five and then you all get up and shout gasta and so it's a very high energy undertaking um, that requires getting up and down from your seat <laughs> yeah, and waving fun, your yeah. arms. So I think yeah. it, it needs someone like Tom's maybe. It does. Yeah, yeah, it, it needs I could, I could <laughs> guess, I, I have the claim to fame. I did the first one. You did. You were very year. brave. And you did an awesome did, one. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we introduced this last year and um, everybody was like, what is a gasta? Can I do this? It's G A S. T A yeah, yeah. and uh, as if you if you find it it is like yeah. the gasters last year it has nothing to do with food because I was convinced it was oh. something to do with food <laughs> <laughs> it's good fun yeah. but yeah there's one online from the show yesterday yeah. yeah and we have another one we have one every day yeah, yeah. there's yeah. twenty seven gaster sessions oh, wow. That's your way to get it. yeah. <laughs> really good fun and it would be useful as well to try and do that as a um, if you were going to summarize your research. Yeah, well, I was thinking maybe we could do yeah. kind of Goji and Gasters. Yeah. yeah. There is actually um, many posters, um, digital, online as well, and many of the poster presenters are giving short talks. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking at the digital copy of the poster, you'll then be able to watch the accompanying five-minute talk on as a video on YouTube. So you can look at the poster and hear the five-minute gas. Uh, and hopefully, you know, many of our research students who are here working posters have chosen that paper format so that you have both the, the video and the poster. Yeah, so that works it's really good. well. Cool. Do we have any other questions from our online guests? 
So, so, I, so um, one of the gas people dropped out this afternoon. So I may fill that slot talking about GoGen. So it might be worth tuning this afternoon. Can we type the URL for them so yeah. we can put it in the chat? Put. That might be easier to find. Of the conference. Um, yeah, I think that would. Um, it's actually um, if you just put our website in and it links through from there. So if you just put alt.ac.uk on the home page, there is um, a little window which says remote participation. So just click on that, and then you're where you need to be. And Marty, yeah. Marty can say hello to you then. <laughs> <laughs> yes, actually, yeah, can watch him on live in what? What do you say? In like an hour and a half. Is it okay? <laughs> Best prepare. I'm going to say then. Because there's another conference here next week, um, which is the Commonwealth Learning Conference. Uh, and I'm staying on for that. I'm actually up in Edinburgh for ten days, but that's been um, there's been an open education theme as part of that as well. So uh, I'm not sure how much they're streaming. I don't think they're as quite as um, open as this conference, but there might be some stuff that's worth checking as well there. And that's where I'm going to present this paper about GoGen. So the one I'm presenting next week is actually twenty minutes. I'm now going to try and fit it into five <laughs> minutes. But uh, yeah, so I'll put those up on the GoGen website as well. Some of the papers look really good for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it might be worth tracking that as well. So it's PC9. Mm -hmm. Debbie, I know that the Open Education Special Interest Group has a new Twitter account. It does. And also a Twitter hashtag. It does. Um, <laughs> should we maybe tweet that out to the network after? Yes. I'll okay, do that. okay yeah. Melissa, you go and feed your daughter. I've been there many a time having to jump yes. out of feed. <laughs> Thanks for coming in and say hi to a G for us. See you. Bye. Yeah, I'll tweet that back out. Yeah, we'll tweet you the Open Education Special Interest Group um, Twitter account, and then you yeah. can hopefully uh, make use of that as well. Cool. If anyone's got any more questions, otherwise we can uh, close it off there, and we'll go and have our tea coffee <laughs> for the next session. Has, has this been useful for you? Yes. Yes, definitely. Yes, very <laughs> much, very much. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> well, the thing is, I'm, so I'm planning on running these because about every three months, some one of the GoGen people are at a conference, along with, so we'll try and do it. So the next one will probably be from the ICD conference, actually. Um, but that will be the week after the Open Ed conference. So, you know, sort of wrap up talking about both of those. Um, so we'll try and do that, and that'll be um, November. Yeah. Right. Now it sounds like Kathy is going to be there too, so maybe you already have a webinar. Oh, right. yeah, oh, cool. hey, there you go. Yeah, I'll be at oh, yeah, I'll be in Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah. yeah, and then coming out to Dublin for ICDE. Cool. Are you going to <laughs> say it again? Okay, cool. So I was just, uh, it, it kind of, did you say you're going to Dublin as well? Okay. Uh, Cool, great. So I'll see you. I'll see you both. So I, I, I'm definitely going to rope you in for the uh, webinar in, <laughs> in, in Dublin. That'd be good. It's a great opportunity to sit down for a little yeah. bit. <laughs> yes. Well, I, I just when I go to Phoenix, I'm currently. Cause I'm a big ice hockey fan. This isn't anything about my profession. <laughs> so I'm currently booked in to see two ice hockey games and an American football game in the four in the so four, will be a in the four days. Ice <laughs> I'm in Phoenix. We are like from the ice hockey <laughs> ring. <laughs> it's basically just a sport. <laughs> that would be the webinar on the way. Yeah, yeah. Ringside with Macwella. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us here in Edinburgh at the Old Peep Conference. It's um, been great to meet some of you. And um, we really hope that some of the things we do in the own education space in particular might come in handy for you and be useful in your part of your research. Awesome. Thanks, everyone. Bye.